For the majority of Roblox's existence, racing games have been one of the most popular genres on Roblox. Over the past few years, the quality of Roblox racing games has increased to insane lengths, and today, I'm going to be taking a look about how Roblox racing games have evolved. Let me set the stage. The year is 2004 slash 2005, most likely 2005, and Roblox is only in beta with small time frames for these beta tests in 2004 and 2005. Most, if not all, the players in this time frame were either investors or family members slash relatives of David Bazuki and Eric Castle, and soon, one of these less than 150 people would create the first racing game on Roblox. Race 2 was a minigame, this was in time before games were a thing. This meant that there were no controllable players, but there were controllable vehicles. There's not much information about this game, as in fact, this is the only image we have of the game. What we do know about this game is it was a two-person game about seeing who could race to a cylinder before the opponent. It is possible for there to be a racing game before this based on the name stating it is the second version of this game, but this version was not found. In 2006, the next racing game would be created by The Big Slide, who is now terminated, but his game called The Big Slide's Place is still available. In-game, players would race each other down these big slides by using a delete tool to destroy a part underneath the slide. It would make everyone go flying. The first person to be flung to the ground and or off the map would win. As with today, the game is broken. You can't go down the slides anymore due to the tools used in 2006 are no longer present in the game anymore. As we can see, early footage of the game exists with text saying that this game was meant to be played by Draco Axe Master, who recorded this early footage. Moving into 2007, we start off the year with two classic Roblox racing games, both made by R92, known for creating many famous games in 2007, as well as winning third in the Spooky Building Contest. R92 creates a game titled Downhill, and then a month later renames it to Downhill Extreme, with it now being renamed to Rowar Downhill Extreme. It is one of the first racing games on Roblox that have uniquely designed vehicles such as Tiny Dune Buggy, in a big tank sort of looking vehicle. Players could race each other down the hill with either the tank, or crawler as R92 calls it, and the buggy. Players could even track who has the best time, with the leaderboard showing the time and best time. I cannot figure out the exact date this game was made, as it shows on the Roblox game today that was created on March 21st of 2008, but this is just false as I was able to find proof of the game existing as far back as July 2007. So as far as I know, July was the earliest this game was made. It could have been made earlier, but July was the earliest I could find it existing. As of today, you can't drive any of the cars because of Roblox updates. Drone Racers takes place on a medium-sized map with a tower that spawn of the map, where you can go into four different sections of the map. It is mostly a, a desert map with a corner being modeled off of terrain in the rocky desert seen around the world. Another corner being a savanna slash jungle area and a small mountain being in one more. Pathways in the middle of the map give a speed boost in whatever direction you are facing. One of these boost paths will lead to some famous players such as R92 and Jacob. In this same spot, there is a start gate where two players will stand and then raise the gate to race once at the end of the pathway, whoever gets there first wins. Players can build their own cars to race instead of going on foot. Rocket Jeep Rally is next, with it being a long map with large ramps, race cars, tractors, flying cars, and even a spaceship. The game was created by Telemon, aka Shedlevsky. The objective is quite simple really, who gets to the end first wins. If you look on Telemon's profile, the game is nowhere to be found. That's because the game was transferred the Shadlevsky account. February of 2009, the game was changed into this Roblox HQ game for some weird reason. And then in 2010, the game changed again to a bridge too far. And what is even more weird, there is a contest completely unrelated from this game of the same time took place a month later of the game changing to a bridge too far with even prizes were made for the event. These being the Golden Golden Gate Bridge and the Zur Gate Bridge which oddly resembles a similar bridge in the game of the same name because if we play the Rocket Jeep Rally today, the game was turned into a giant bridge fighting game. Let's fast forward to February 2008 when Sickmaster Luke, a Roblox admin slash developer, creates a game titled Downhill Smash. Downhill Smash is an honorable mention because the game isn't your typical racing game, but Downhill Smash is notable for being one of the first games in 2008 
to have the first couple of models that resemble cars in Roblox. Sickmaster Luke would create brand new car models for the game, such as Driving Truck, which was a desirable model by the community as many players had asked to have this truck in the comments of the model. Before this truck was made, Sickmaster Luke would create a model frame that would become created as well and is still free to get today. The gameplay is simple as cars are flying down a hill and players have to try and dodge them. Players will race to see who can get to the top of the map first. Once at the top, players can spawn cars themselves and get a red couch, a glowing vending machine, and a bag. You can also spawn a kayak to ride down a waterfall down the map with the cars. Months later, a player named Lois1199 would create a game called Build and Race. This game is a community building game where players could create their own vehicles to either race each other or drive in. With a save slash load feature, Players could save and load their previously made vehicles. At the time, this game was the first to create such an advanced system for the time in early 2008. Build and Race has inspired many popular games to be made, such as Build a Boat for Treasure, Build Your Own Mer- Build Your Own Mech, and whatever floats your boat. As of now, Build and Race remains unplayable and broken due to the filtering enabled feature. In late 2008, Roblox racing games would become more advanced when TakeOver Tom would create a game called the suspension plus steering plus fast equals race. It is the first racing game on Roblox to include a working suspension system on Roblox. The gameplay is players can drive around an open map with seven types of vehicles. The map features different obstacles such as ramps and a hill for players to test out the vehicles. However, due to recent Roblox updates, some vehicles may not drive or not function properly. No, I'm still flying. This game totally isn't broken or anything. Game is even featured in a YouTube video by the Roblox channel called Vehicles and Mechs by Roblox user Takeover Tom in 2012 for how advanced the vehicles looked and operated at the time. And even four years later, Roblox just had to show Takeover Tom's skills in building and scripting Roblox vehicle games. Not much happened in 2009 for the racing genre on Roblox. Besides some games, car models have become way more advanced in building terms. But not many games were made with racing in mind this year. One notable racing game would be released in November, called Epic Car Obby by Kurt T162. The game features a large terrain custom build obby map. Players can race each other so you can beat the obby first by using cars such as an F1 racing car, truck, and a minivan. The game has six different levels for players to race each other on. 2010 was an important year for the racing game genre on Roblox. But wait. Let's just take a quick moment to see how vehicles have evolved and see what stage of evolution Roblox is at. Vehicles have gone from this, to this, to this, to this, and to this. Lifetime Builders Club is the most wanted thing by every kid on Roblox at this point. It felt like if you had somehow begged my parents just enough for this membership back in the day, your life as a kid would become complete. I know I tried this and unfortunately that never happened because my family was really poor when I was little. GUI's contest are reintroduced from the early days of 2004 plus 2005 counterparts. Packages are added for the first time, new particles such as fire are added, the triple hat feature, vehicle seats, along with others have been added. We also don't have circle studs and they were given a square shape. As of this point in Roblox's history, developers have gotten better at making games and scripting in part due to Roblox's learning resources. In only 6 or 5 years or so, Roblox itself has massively evolved and we are not even halfway done yet. 2010 has proven a major step in Roblox racing games as the first racing game we got in 2010 was our game made by Tom Canty called Robloxia Raceway RDCS Testing. You and other players are put in a NASCAR arena where you can race people in these NASCAR cars, which seem to be based off of Ford, Toyota, and Chevrolet branded race cars. There's even a winner's section in the game for you to grab your victory trophy. Next up is Mario Kart Roblox Dash made by Crazy Blocks, more known as a creator of the classic Flood Escape series. The game is very similar to Mario Kart. Players attempt to race against each other in three laps at higher positions in order to win the race. Power-ups are present in order to help the player gain some advantages over other players, such as boosting the player with a mushroom and temporarily knocking out some opponents with green and red shells, which prevents the affected opponents from moving for a brief amount of time. The game was closed due to external IP inclusions and development issues. 2011 was another good year for Roblox racing games and for Roblox in general. 
In May 2011, the Roblox developer NSF Boy released DriveBlox Unlimited. NFS Boys DriveBlox Unlimited was a popular complex role-playing and driving game with edited free models of vehicles, mansions, houses, and apartments that players can purchase with earned credits. In only four years, even Roblox cars have evolved in comparison to what we went from in Downhill Extreme, being simple little dune buggies to now us having full-on supercars in Roblox, with DriveBlox having its own classes of cars, an example being cars that are available to users. The faster the car, the more credits you earn per stud traveled, thus making a faster car worth more credits. When you get better cars, your driver class will increase. Driver classes range from E, D, C, B, and A. Oh my god, I remember these fences! Bro, I was like 9 like last time I saw these fences, oh my god. This game was the first ever Roblox game I ever played, as prior to this point, I would just mess around in Roblox Studio and build and make random things. Up until now, I played Roblox as if it was a sandbox game, using Roblox Studio. I used to play Roblox and guess where a thing, I remember playing this and having so much fun. People would roleplay as cops and try to arrest you in this game. And one memory I had of the game was when I, I first spawned into the game, I remember seeing this classic spawn logo and that old force field effect when you first spawn in. I thought it was so cool back then. That's where my profile icon came from. The modified version I made of that spawn icon that I thought was the coolest thing back in the day when I was a kid. In August of 2011, King Andrew K, formerly known as Polly D848, Fresh Diamonds, and King Polly D, is more known for creating Adopt and Raise a Baby as a game that has well over 27 million visits. Besides the credit game named Own a Car and Race, players get a choice of 5 cars to pick from at the start. An additional 2 vehicles are available to VIP members. A player can start a lap at any time they want. While racing around the track, players must avoid hitting the track wall. If they do so, their vehicle will start falling apart at whatever point on their car is hit. Slow down, big fella! Completing a lap gives the player one more lap on their record, which can be seen on the player list next to their name. Most, but if not all, assets in this game are made by XZBobZX. The game's map is from a game now on copyright of his called Bob's 1930s Vintage Racetrack. Now, Bob's Racetrack 2. For most of 2012, the previous games were popular in 2010 and 2011. People would still play these games with higher player accounts, such as a game called Checkpoint Racing, a game made in 2008 but was more popular in 2012, and was even featured in a game review by Roblox in 2013, created by the famous player who created Galleons, a popular pirate fighting game in 2008. Wingman 8. I'll let Roblox explain the gameplay of this game. In Checkpoint Racing, players must race vehicles to hit all checkpoints in a randomized level. Players either reach all checkpoints in order, or if the game allows it, out of order. The racers must be able to find the shortest distance to all of the checkpoints to be first. 2013 was yet unfortunately another pretty dead year for Roblox racing games. People were still playing the same ones made in 2011, or before even games that were older, including ones from as early as 2008. 2013 would be an important year for Roblox though. New rendering code and ship, improving performance, particularly in the context of rendering static environments on slower dated hardware, dynamic lightning is released, surface GUIs, and the first ever blocks cast is streamed live. Many new features were added in 2013, allowing for games to become constantly better and more improved as time goes on. There would be one game notable made in July of 2013 by Second Log titled Street Racing Unleashed which accumulated over 7 million total place visits. The game features a wide variety of games with an adjustable camera and dealership UI with a money system as well as being a part of the game. After you buy a car at the dealership, you can spawn in the car with G. The game also allows you to paint your car. You could also apply custom decal IDs with whatever ID you want on your car with different decals in the catalog slash library. The game also takes place in a city and in the game is a rocky type of area where players can race each other. Unfortunately, due to Roblox updates, you can no longer drive the cars in the game because if you try to drive them, you are unable to get into the vehicle seat 
even though you can access the driver area of the car. 2014 would bring two racing games into the spotlight in April, called F1 2014 Racing Game Historic Edition. This game is another F1 racing game trying to mimic the 2014 NASCAR event in real life. It is very similar to the 2010 game I mentioned earlier on, but it is a much more improved version of the game, with better built cars and racing arena. For some reason the game was shut down and is no longer playable, and, and Wessie, who made the game, is terminated by Roblox. User terminated. Four months later, in August of 2014, a game would be released called Vita Simulator. In 2014, the game featured a large map of a city with airplanes and different cars for players to race and drive around in, with the game featuring more advanced features such as a speedometer, boats, and a wasted dust text copied from GTA V. In 2023, the game is far more advanced than in 2014. The game had received regular updates up until, um, Simbilder would be arrested. Um, yeah, no, so. In 2015, games would see a massive upgrade in quality. Roblox had released an update that allowed users to upload a game under a group which allowed way more developers to make better games and allowed for easier use when developers would work together in games. Also around this time, custom meshes would be re-added to Roblox and plugins would be added as well. Both of these features allowed developers to make much better games on Roblox by making them more easier to create than ever before. A December developer named Roxurus would come up with an interesting take on the racing genre with his game titled Smashy Cars. The game is similar to games of old, like Sickmaster Luke's Downhill Smash, except in this game, you are in a couple of different areas for you to go to in the game, such as two different cities and a racetrack, where you and your friends can race each other to see who can wreck their car first. Unlike older games, you have objective to fully destroy your vehicle of choice, with the game's 20 vehicles to choose from, ranging in speed, size, and power. 2016 just might have been one of the most deadest years for the history and for the new and up-and-coming racing games on the Roblox platform. Roblox had also just turned 10 years old. Throughout this time in Roblox, previous popular games remained mostly as a main state of racing games on the platform. For this year, we only have a game that is very similar to the 2010 NASCAR game called NASCAR 16 Road America, with the only notable upgrades being there are like 100 cars for you to choose from, as well as a much better built NASCAR race track. 2017 would be a major year for Roblox racing games, as in January, we would receive a game created by Index 15 called Former UD Curtitec with over 5 million visits. In the game, you spawn in this large map taking place in a sandy bay slash beach area next to a highway where you drive around, roleplay, and race other players. The game is very advanced. The game features different jobs you can do to earn money to spend on really good looking car models, each with their own style. The game shows you how fast you are going with its own RPM and MPH GUI on the right side and also features a parking button, headlights, drifting mechanics, locking, and you can even have turn signals. The game also features a mini map, which you can enlarge it to see spawn points on the map, and gas stations for you to fill up your car with gas. Unfortunately, this really good built game would be stopped being supported in 2022 after Index 15 left the development team. Greenville is a roleplay game created by Greenville, Wisconsin. The game has managed to rank up over 880 million place visits and the game is regularly updated. Greenville is a game in which players can roleplay, drive, and experience a small town atmosphere in Wisconsin with 400 plus cars, 2300 plus with trims included to choose from. One notable thing about Greenville is a custom radio that features in the game with different stations to choose from. Speedlands is a futuristic racing game created by Prismatic Games. Racers drive a futuristic ship on a linear track to be the first to cross the finish line while dodging obstacles. If a racer crashes into too many obstacles, their ship will fall apart and they will respawn at the last checkpoint after some time. Racers can also customize and upgrade their own ships as well as buy new ones to compete in different leagues. This game took part in the 2019 Egg Hunt, where players could receive the Too Fast to Egg if they crossed the finish line within a certain time limit on the ancient city map. 
The game's soundtrack features a variety of upbeat electronic music such as trap, tech house, and trance. The game is currently closed due to it being under reconstruction and the game is being rebuilt from scratch. As of more recently, the developer of the game has recently come up with a new game on this group called Speedlands V2 Demo. So he might be working on a sequel right now, so it might be a long time until the original Speedlands game is able to be played again. 2018 would mark the most popular time for Roblox racing games, as in March of 2018, Foxy would create the most visited racing and tycoon game on Roblox, titled Car Dealership Tycoon. With the game having over 1.5 billion visits on Roblox, the game is both a tycoon game and a racing game built to coincide alongside one another. You are able to earn money by cars driving around the map, racing other players, and by also spending time leveling up your tycoon. Once enough money is built up, you are able to buy better looking and faster cars. Around the same time this game came out, it was when Roblox would bring out an update forcing you to have a feature called Filter Enabled that broke thousands of Roblox games, which made it so that any modification done to a player's client would not affect the server. This was made to prevent hackers and exploiters from being able to mess with the game. This broke a lot of vehicles and car scripts, which is why many old racing games mentioned on earlier on in the video no longer function as intended. This caused many to be frustrated at Roblox, and understandably so. It's 2019 now, and any thought of people comparing Roblox to another online social game from its era is now no longer present. With over 1 billion users registered, Roblox has turned into a diverse and huge platform for expressing creativity. The first game released in 2019 that I'll be talking about is Midnight Racing Tokyo, a Japanese-inspired racing game by Dev Gem which revolves around customizing cars to drive around and racing around a recreation of Tokyo and its surrounding areas with more than 130 plus vehicles you can choose to purchase from the dealership. In the same month Midnight Racing was created, only three days later a Roblox game studio named Driving Empire by Voltec released Driving Empire, a Roblox racing game. The game is well known for being an open world immersive driving and racing experience. With vehicles such as cars, boats, helicopters, and motorcycles, similar to another Roblox driving game Vehicle Simulator, which also has these type of vehicles. As of now, the game features a selection of over 250 vehicles from a wide range of classics to hypercars, players can earn cash by driving around the map or winning races. Players also have the ability to customize the appearance and upgrade the performance of their vehicle with the cash they earn. A unique feature this game has is the ability to teleport to different dealerships or races around the map. In November 2019, four developers, Dysoft, SigM underscore ND, Stunt Designer, and Fractility, would create Driving Simulator. Because of them sharing a passion for creating games together, it would become a nominee for the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards, and they would also become one of the three games to become sponsored in the McLaren F1 Racing Experience, an event sponsored by McLaren with different free items that could have been awarded from the event, such as helmets, racers, faces, and different accessories. Upon joining, the players prompted the truth three free cars, then the player can drive per mile to get money and buy better cars. I believe in 2020, racing games would have their final evolution in the racing genre timeline. Vico Legends is a game that was released on January 1st, 2020. It was developed by Phenomenon, who also runs the Quadra Tech Group on Roblox. It is a car driving and racing game similar to Vico Simulator. However, back then, the game's existence was not widely known. It was only discovered first by fans who tried to spread the news. Another factor is by means of YouTubers like Jimmy Salenson, who discovered the game itself, but its beta version. The drivers earn cash from driving vehicles. Earning cash can be multiplied by buying game passes or joining the Quadra Tech group. The game consists of several vehicles to choose from, such as land, sea, and air vehicles. The game consists of several types of races. They can be played at several race zones. These include land, drag race, circuit race, beach dash, desert race, highway race, off-road race, tropical dash, around the map, air, air race, sea, boat race. Players can customize their vehicles by giving them different coats of paint, adding wrap slash skin, tuning the engine, applying body kits and underglow. Eight months later, in November 2020, the game Hot Wheels Open World was released, a Roblox game unique by being made by GameFam Studios under the name of GameFam X Hot Wheels and officially licensed by Mattel. Hot Wheels Open World is a 3D third-person car game that features open worlds and multiple unlockable cars from Mattel's Hot Wheels franchise. The player's starting car, dubbed the Sabre, is owned by default 
In contrast, other vehicles such as the Rip Rod, Bone Shaker, and Twin Mill can be unlocked or purchased by completing sets and tabs and farming in-game currency. Similar to Vico Legends, the playable cars possesses many technical specifications, all of which vary and depend on price. And if the player installed any upgrade, the game is about traversing open worlds at high speed, while in similar fashion to other simulator games found on Roblox, continually upgrading the player character's abilities unique to this game, the player can find gold and red coins and gears scattered around the world, which gradually increase their experience points XP when collected. The player also gains 1 XP for each new world they discover. Races and uncommon feature in many games grant large amounts of XP when finished. Winning a race in first place grants the most XP. Winning a race in first place grants the most XP. 2021 is the last checkpoint in the history of Roblox racing games close to their most recently timed being made. In March 2021, Profine, or Profine would make a game based off of a popular meme at the time of the baby saying, Let's go. This game is not very advanced in terms of far racing games have gone, but instead shows the humor simple driving games can show the player, with the baby cars having very similar mechanics to the earlier NASCAR racing games in the early 2010s. Players can pick different cars to drive around with each car having its own face of notable or mean real life person, such as Drake and others. Players can race each other, see who can be eaten by the baby first, with racing and with the gameplay mix of classic Roblox game Get Eaten. This proves racing games don't have to have the most stunning car models and mechanics, and even just simple funny concepts can make a racing game fun in the present day. In September 2021, while not a noble game, Hyundai Mobility Adventure is a sci-fi inspired racing showcase of the Hyundai Motor Company's cars and quote unquote future mobility solution. This game showcases something that seemed impossible in 2006, an entire car manufacturing company using Roblox as a tool to promote their real life cars shows how far we've come from such a simple beginning with just simple racing minigame in 2004, 2005, and with 2006, 2007 vehicles being just makeshift planes and a bunch of parts it is supposed to be a car slash vehicle on Roblox. In August 2022, a game would be released named Drive World, created by Twin Atlas. Drive World is a car racing simulator on Roblox. It allows players to immerse themselves in a virtual world filled with many real life cars and explore a variety of large maps. The goal of the game is simple drive, drift, and perform tricks to earn cash. To earn money, a player can get drive, drift, and air score, participate in races, complete daily or weekly quests, and do jobs. This money can be used to purchase new vehicles and modifications. Since 2023 is almost over, editing me here, uh, yes, I know 2023 is already over, but I originally planned this video to be my last video for 2023. But editing this took a lot longer than I expected. No new racing games have been released this year. I've had the time to become popular and influence further games. A recent Roblox racing game I've seen with genuine potential is Highway Hooligans, which is still in beta. Highway Hooligans is very similar to other modern Roblox racing games, with it having highly detailed and beautiful looking car models, a money system, a dealership to level up in, and buy better and more expensive cars. Except in Highway Hooligans, you're on a highway 24-7. Except when you need to pull in to get some gas from a gas station. You are with other NPCs driving on the highway beside you, with other players also racing alongside with you on the highway as well. Once you crash into another car on the road, you will be teleported back to the dealership where you can pick a different car to drive. To recap, racing games started in 2004 slash 2005 and most likely Someone related to David Bazuki tried to make a simple two-player objective minigame of Roblox. Once in 2006, players tried to launch themselves high in the air, and that would be considered racing back then. In 2007, once Shadleski made the first proper racing game on Roblox, people were just trying to make their own vehicles with Shadleski's scripts, and they weren't that good, but no one really cared. One admin would create the first proper car models in 2008, with the first decent downhill game being created. Players could start to create their own vehicles and games themselves. The first NASCAR track and cars would be made in 2010, as well as a somewhat good recreation of Mario Kart would be made as well. Around 2011 to 2013, racing games would start to become good with Roblox re-implementing meshes in 2013 to 2015, which would heavily benefit Roblox developers. Cars and other vehicles 
got way better. People started to get really into scripting and animating vehicles in 2017 onward. Around this time, people started to get way better at making Roblox racing games. And now that it's in the 2020s, racing games now have billions of visits and are hugely polished and detailed in comparison to older racing games on the same platform. On Roblox, racing games can be put into seven different categories. Downhill games, games where players can race down a hill to see who can get to the bottom first, pioneered in 2006. Build and race games where players can build their own vehicles to race others like, like build and race in 2008. NASCAR track racing games where players can race each other made in race cars. In a remade NASCAR arena from real life NASCAR. Just regular racing games where they are a bunch of cars to choose from to race each other like suspension plus steering plus race equals race in 2008. An epic car hobby in 2009. Then there were open world roleplay racing games like Drive Blocks Unlimited in 2011 and Street Racing Unleashed in 2013. Open world games with a dealership like Car Dealership Tycoon and Highway Hooligan. Don't forget the weird ones like the Baby Car Driving 3D and Smashy Cars. Now I've covered the history of Roblox racing games with the most notable game genres on Roblox. In only about 30 minutes, I've summarized how racing games, car models, and the development of them on Roblox have gone from these very unstable Roblox catapult games to these very detailed and absolutely stunning looking racing experiences that over tens of thousands of users spend time playing every day. Thank you so much for watching, click the cool buttons YouTubers like to tell you to press, and I'll see you in the next one.